Welcome to this presentation on the Welsh Government's consultation on the Regulations for Wales on the Liberty Protection Safeguards, or the LPS. There are two parts to this presentation. The first part shares the details of the consultation, the context, the timetable, the resources and the planned engagement. The second part will give you an introduction and key information on each of the four pieces of draft regulations for Wales. Context. The UK Government is bringing in a new law, the Mental Capacity Amendment Act 2019. The law will change the Mental Capacity Act 2005. This will mean that the deprivation of liberty safeguards, the DOLS scheme, will stop and will be replaced by the LPS. There will be a period of parallel running as those under existing DOLS arrangements transition to the LPS at appropriate times. For example, in line with their existing planned review arrangements or where there is a change in their circumstance which indicates a review is required. All new applicants will be considered under the LPS. The Liberty Protection Safeguards or the LPS The LPS protects the rights and freedoms of people who lack mental capacity. Where someone's care, support or treatment amounts to a deprivation of liberty and the cared for person lacks the mental capacity to agree to those arrangements, then the arrangements must be authorised. The LPS are there to protect Article 5 human rights, the right to liberty. A person cannot be deprived of their liberty without a procedure in place prescribed by law. As part of the LPS, for those people who lack mental capacity to consent to such deprivation arrangements, health boards or local authorities, as responsible bodies, will need to demonstrate those statutory procedures are properly discharged. There are a number of fundamental differences between the LPS and the current dolls. The LPS will apply to adults and also to young people aged 16 and 17. The LPS will apply in hospitals and registered care settings and in many other places including people's own homes. A key point. The changes from the DOLS to the LPS will apply to England and Wales and be supported by a revised code of practice. However, Wales will have its own new laws about how to put the change into practice. It is these new laws, the draft regulations for Wales, that have been published for consultation. How can you have your say on the LPS regulations for Wales? The Welsh Government is consulting on how to put the LPS draft regulations for Wales into practice. Separately, the UK Government is consulting on draft regulations for England and the draft code of practice for England and Wales. Stakeholders in Wales will therefore also need to respond to the UK Government consultation on the draft code of practice for England and Wales. The Welsh Government Consultation Timetable The Welsh Government Consultation launched on the 17th of March 2022 and will last for 16 weeks. The closing date for responses is the 7th of July 2022. The UK Government's Consultation on Draft Regulations for England and the Draft Code of Practice for England and Wales will also last for 16 weeks and has the same closing date for responses, which is the 7th of July, 2022. Our LPS consultation can be found on the Welsh Government website here. Additional consultation resources. We've developed and published a range of additional materials to help people consider and respond to the proposals either as individuals or by coming together to consider these together. Plain English Cymraeg Clear Versions We have created Plain English and Cymraeg Clear Versions of the following. A summary of the draft regulations, our plans for workforce and training, and our plans for monitoring and reporting. 
easy read versions. We have an easy read version of the draft regulations, an easy read overview of the Mental Capacity Act and the LPS, and an easy read of the draft regulatory impact assessment. We also have an easy read response form. The plain English and Cymraeg clear versions are text only documents and provide a summary of the regulations, our plans for monitoring and reporting and plans for workforce and training. The easy read documents also provide images and pictures and descriptions to support people's understanding. Animations. We have also created a short animation which gives an easy to follow overview of what the LPS will mean to people in Wales. We have also created short films on each of the draft regulations for Wales. These can be found via a link on our main consultation page to our YouTube channel. The films are around two minutes long each and designed to be easily shared over social media. FAQs document. We have developed a frequently asked questions document, FAQs document, and have published this on the LPS consultation web pages. We will be updating our FAQs document on a regular basis and sharing with stakeholders, along with our new LPS newsletter for Wales. Consultation events. On the next few slides, we have outlined the engagement sessions we will be carrying out over the consultation period. These include reconvening the LPS Implementation Steering Group for Wales and the LPS Subgroups Meetings, which focus on workforce and training, monitoring and reporting, the transition from the dolls to the LPS and the 16 and 17 year olds. We are also planning to meet with other stakeholders people with lived experience and young people. Details of all these events will be sent out to you via our regular newsletter. If you have any questions regarding this presentation, please contact the Mental Health and Vulnerable Groups team mailbox. Thank you. Diolch.